Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Preschool All-Stars podcast. I'm Bethany Johnson, and I am joined today by Lori Siegel. How are you doing today, Lori? I'm doing great. Thanks. Awesome. I'm excited to talk to you because I think we got you got a little bit of a different path that I'm interested. I was reading your notes, and I was like, oh, interesting. So I'm excited to hear. First, um, let's get a little uh, background about where you were before you found joy. Before I found Joy, I was a teacher at a uh, learning center working with older toddlers. So that was two-year-olds and three-year-olds that weren't yet potty trained, so they couldn't move on to preschool. Um, But I found myself there for 10 years and just being really frustrated with it um, and just basically burned out. Yeah. Was it that? What what was the biggest frustration there with the long hours? Um. Part, not necessarily. I, I enjoyed the job part. I enjoyed working with the children. Um, it was basically a 35 to 40 hour week. So I went Monday to Friday, but getting up early in the morning mm. was a struggle. And then um, just with family issues, if you had to call in sick, it was like you had to find your own replacement, your own sub. Um, and then just more of the director aspect of it. Um, meeting your training qualifications and updating paperwork. And I just wanted to work with the children. (laughs) I wanted to help them with arts and crafts, read stories, engage them in play. And I just, a lot of the administrative things were being thrown at me. Okay. I totally understand that. (laughs) Yeah. So how did you come across Joy? Well, I think I saw an ad on Facebook for her book, first of all, and I thought, ah, that might be an option. This may have been pre-COVID, I'm not sure if it was the 20 or 21, Um, but at some point I was at home because I got released from work during COVID, and then I had an opportunity to read some of the book. I didn't get through it all, but um, as I was reading, I was engaged. I looked her up on the website. You know how you stalk someone's Facebook page, (laughs) and then I saw the link for um, Preschool All-Stars. And this would have been probably April of 2021, and they had closed. Mm -hmm. So they said, you know, it's closed right now. So I thought, well, this sounds interesting, sounds exciting. You know, the urgency, I just missed it. Yeah, yeah. um, So I searched a lot of her podcasts and a lot of her um, YouTube videos. um, I just basically tried to get my hands on anything from hers because I was really impressed on how she presented herself and what she had to offer. Mm Mm-hmm. Awesome. So did you, did the idea of starting your own preschool, was that in your head? Were you looking to do that idea or did you have something else going on? Yes and no. Um, I love working with children, but I wasn't prepared to have children in my home. So by April of 2021, um, I had already, because of COVID, brought my son home from school and started homeschooling him. Uh, We finished the year, but then I said, no, we're going to homeschool. And it worked out well for my uh, adult son to actually help with that because I was still working at the time. Okay. Um, But I had agreed by the end of that summer, I was leaving my job, you know, whatever happened, happened. So I thought it could be a possibility, but my husband also works from home. So our home wasn't really conducive to bring people in, but the idea of online was interesting, but my um, ability to use technology was not there. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So I needed help. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. So what happened next? Um, Well, in October, I had the opportunity. This would have been October of 2021. I had the opportunity to join All Stars and I had gotten involved in the Facebook group. I was asking questions. I was replying to uh, questions and I was so excited. You know, we, I think she did like a week, week and a half launch of before she opened the doors. So I was like, yes, yes, yes. This is good. This is good. And, um, At the time when it was time to enroll in um, preschool all-stars, I was chosen to get a year free because of my interaction in the group. I just loved helping people and answering questions from what I knew, you know, what I learned in the the month or two, just following the group. And so I was just kind of excited to be part of this community. I had never really connected with people online like this. This was a very supportive group. Very supportive. That's awesome. Well, that's exciting. So you were you were ready. You had been ready, and then yes. to have that was like a 
It was like an answer for you. You were like, wow, this must mean something. <laughs> yeah. And I knew I had the ability to teach. I had been teaching or tutoring or working with school age children down to toddlers for uh, several decades. So the teaching part wasn't my struggle, although online, I knew it was going to be different, but just the technology. So when she introduced the hub and all that it could do, I you know, I jumped at it because I knew I needed it and I knew the potential. As she explained, it can do this, it can do this, it can do this. And with my husband running a business out of our home, I had already looked into domains and he was running ClickFunnels and Zapier and sales message. And I thought this does all of that. Like we could run both of our businesses on this if we let it. And so I did set up my online preschool. It is up and running right now, but I really haven't marketed it um, as much as I want to because I got involved in so many other things. So I am working with a homeschool group and um, offering enrichment programs through that. And then um, I'm also helping with my husband's real estate investing business. And I actually set up a funnel for him so that he could cancel his $297 a month click funnel subscription. Wow. So you're running a whole your real estate investing business <laughs> through the hub. Yes. You know, I know that we can set up other businesses on our hub, but I want to check out yours because I, <laughs> I I haven't seen anyone else's that's not a preschool page. I've seen Got so it. many other preschool hubs, but I'm excited to see what it looks like as something yeah. else. So did you use the same um, like layouts and everything? You just changed the wording or were you able to completely kind of revamp the pages? Um, well, for my learning enrichment, I copied the preschool template. So that was very helpful, just um, using her template. And if you're aware of the timing um, from October 2021 20, to 22, or even the spring of 22, she updated all that. Mm -hmm. So we had to uh, do the version two one and change mm -hmm. all our templates. So that was great experience. Um, mm -hmm in learning how to change things. So I'm, I'm really hooked on the hub and helping people even on Tech Tuesday with Beth, like I know how to do that. Awesome. <laughs> I can do that. Um, how so does it I make have, you feel to be the one who knows how to work the technology? Amazing. And she had asked that too, after we, um, the 30 days after we joined, you know, what I accomplished in those 30 days was more than anything I could do in like two or three years, mm -hmm. honestly. It was just yeah. incredible. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've talked on this podcast so many times how I waited so long to do the hub because I was so scared that I, and then I did it and I was like, oh, well, no, why did I wait? That was, that was so easy. It was so easy. So it is but awesome. that's so cool that you're, you're, you were so afraid of it and now you're the one helping with it in just such a short amount of time. And only because, um, joy had it set up with the templates, with the video instructions, with the yeah. written instructions, and there was a system in place to do this, do this, do this. And I think with other businesses, I was just kind of like lost. I didn't know what to do. And if I had a question, I had to schedule a call, you know, 48 yeah. hours out to answer my question. And then I'm at a standstill until I can get it answered. So the Absolutely. group's awesome and the teamwork's awesome. So how has it helped uh, both of your businesses? So the homeschool enrichment, tell me a little about that. Um, I geared it mainly for homeschoolers if they needed, um, I, I kind of set it up like tutoring. So if they wanted to um, book a call for me, like, you know, an, an hour lesson on whatever they needed help with, whether it was um, language, spelling, reading, math. And um, I, I'm still, you know, kind of pursuing that area, but there are the online resources. They can, if they sign up for a session, they can get the Spanish lessons that are downloaded for it. And then the virtual field trips, of course. And then I'm, I'm considering <laughs> um, doing my own courses, my own online courses that can be uh, retrieved at any time once they're recorded and saved in there. And so are your classes, the homeschool enrichment classes, are, are they in person or are they online or what, what's your component? They are uh, recorded classes that they can okay. access. So you, you sign up for the subscription, you would get them. Okay. So when I got involved in a homeschool group, the lady in charge was saying, oh, are you a curriculum creator? And I thought, I maybe. could be, <laughs> maybe I, I've done it, but not online yet. So uh -huh. um, that's something I want to pursue future. 
getting some classes there so kids can have help in math, reading, spelling, whatever it is. Awesome. And how much do you charge for the homeschool classes? The, I don't know offhand. I, <laughs> I'm not prepared for that. I think it's like $45 for a 45 minute session. Okay. Okay. Um, so it's kind of like tutoring. Is it one-on-one? -on -one? Yes. Okay. It is a one-on-one -on -one class. Okay. And do you have like, do you have like a, a Calendly set up through the yes. hub? How do they schedule? Okay. So you hooked that up through the hub. Mm -hmm. I have a, well, actually they can get a free consultation. So they would pick a time and a day that would be good for me to call them back and go over basically what they need. And mm -hmm. so the session would be customized depending on their child's needs or how many times a week they want to meet with me, or if it's just a one-time thing. And of course, if they, if they schedule, you know, I want to meet with you two times a week for the month, there's a, a little bit of a price break. Um, mm -hmm. if you book several events. That's awesome. So how have you, have you marketed that one or did you, it kind of just happened because you were in the homeschool group? I haven't marketed, but I exactly in the homeschool group, I have some connections with some parents that um, are requesting help um, in different areas. So that's been a plus. Um, so that's awesome. So that's one business you have on there. And then how has it helped your husband's real estate investment business? Well, he was um, previously, uh, like I said, he was using Z Zapier and sales message, and they were like three or four different components trying to talk to each other. Mm -hmm. And every once in a while, you'd have a glitch here or a glitch here, or one of these wouldn't be communicating. And so then he would be manually sending out emails, manually sending out texts. And I kept saying, there's a better way. <laughs> we could do this. Um, so I was explaining how my system in the hub is very similar to what he was using and it's all in one thing. So it communicates with itself. You don't have any breakpoints. Mm -hmm. So, wow, that's really awesome. And so how did you, you did that set up on your own? Like I did. There's well, no template for that in the system. So you did it on your own. Um, from ClickFunnels because it is okay. possible to click um, copy the ClickFunnels template that he had. So that was a plus. I did. I had to change a few things because everything doesn't copy over exactly. Uh -huh. But again, Beth was helping me with that. Um, their forms are a little bit different than ours. Um, so I had to edit some things as we go. But the more I was in there using it, the more I learned. And then I mm -hmm. saw, oh, it can do this. Oh, it can do this. And just kind of expanded my vision. Awesome. My next step is taking my local preschool <laughs> website and putting it in the hub, but I haven't, I've right. been weary to do that. Just like I was weary <laughs> to do the other one. Cause I know that now I have to, there's not the template right there. I have to kind of convert it. So are you like going in and converting all the, the code and just copy and pasting that kind of into the, um, hub? I'm not doing the HTML code, okay. but, um, even on so some of the, the wording, learning. you're copy and pasting the wording yes. and then switching the colors around and stuff. Definitely, okay. definitely. Okay. And then, um, you know, the rows and the columns and mm -hmm. the elements I can put in videos, I can put in, um, a headline or I can put in a bullet point list and so forth. Awesome. Well, that's exciting. So how has, how has, how have things changed from now to, I guess, just a year or two ago from before you actually got into the all-stars? Um, well, that's a uh, part of the blessing of being part of this because of the training that Joy provides and the Monday motivations and just being part of this group of people um, constantly giving their feedback. Um, and I think one of the things was um, she had offered this seminar breakdown to break free if we mm -hmm. had paid the annual. And um, that in itself was worth the investment because I found that it would be, um, it gave me the confidence that I needed. Um, I, was, I was with those mental roadblocks thinking, mm -hmm. I can't do this. And it made me think back as I was listening to these sessions, um, I have been on this journey before when we tried to start a business and we kept hitting roadblocks and we ended up quitting. We just didn't have that consistency or perseverance, I, I would say, to keep going. And I would say about 20 years ago, somebody from my church approached me. Um, there was a lady in the community teaching music lessons, and she came to me and said, Lori, you could do that. You could teach music lessons out of your home, you know, have kids come. And I'm thinking, no, I can't. I can't. I can't do that. And I had no idea how to set up a business, how to schedule things, how to recruit people. Um, so 
I wasn't ready. So when joy came into my life, it was almost like, okay, the pieces were fitting together on my journey here. And so it just kind of directed me, change your mindset, change what you are capable of doing, use the talents and skills that you have, ask questions, keep moving. Mm, so that's absolutely. Plus. Yes. Oh, I love that. I love that. And what would you say to any other woman who is, um, who has those same mental barriers going on that they're having trouble breaking free, but they really want to do something like this? What would you say to encourage them? Well, if they're not in all stars, that would be a, a plus. Um, and like I said, even if you don't start a preschool, there are some people doing the homeschool enrichment classes or micro schools, um, which may be a future endeavor as well. Um, but just the um, state, the encouragement, I would say accountability too. When you have people that are rooting for you um, and encouraging you and giving you better ideas um, so that you can expand your, you know, your limited mindset um, because, you know, we we're from an employee mentality and mm -hmm. have no concept of, you know, what's possible owning your own business. Yes, totally. Wow. Well, yeah. I am excited to see what happens. What's your next step? Um, and I can't wait to follow along your journey. I'm going to check out your husband's uh, real estate investment website just to see right. all the work you've done on that <laughs> and Thanks, get some yeah. ideas for my stuff. And thank you so much for joining me. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for having me. Of course. We look forward to talking to you again. Okay. Bye-bye. If you'd like to have a success story just like that one, I invite you to join our Preschool All-Stars. It's my exclusive membership community where you'll get mentorship from me with weekly Q&A lives, support and guidance and friendship from hundreds of women on the exact same journey as you starting running and growing their preschools, and my exclusive access to Preschool University, every training and done for you file that you'll need for every milestone on your journey to help you start, run and grow your preschool. We've all been there and we've got the exact same steps that you need to go through, but we do it all very quickly so that you don't have to waste time or money doing the wrong things at the wrong time. We'd love for you to join our Preschool All-Stars membership. Just go to preschoolallstars.com or click the link in the description to a immediately jump into Preschool All-Stars. Again, go to preschoolallstars.com and we'll see you there.